In today's guided tour, we're going to estimate a residential interior painting project. We've added a couple painting assemblies to our takeoff. One that includes a two coat interior latex paint with primer for the walls and a ceiling paint and primer combo. We'll start by setting a plan scale that is depicted on the drawing as 1 8 inch equals a foot. And then by clicking the takeoff name, which puts us in takeoff mode. Now click where you would like to start your measurement and trace along the wall using a single mouse click to turn. For paint projects, Esticom has an out of the box takeoff type called vertical wall area, which takes the linear footage and multiplies it with the wall height to come up with your coverage area in square foot. Now during takeoffs, you'll need to make corrections while measuring, and this can be done using your backspace key. Simply hit the backspace to remove one segment at a time and then continue measuring. Now as you can see, it's a pretty simple process to work around a room, and when you get to a stopping point, simply double click your mouse. Now that we've finished the linear measurement for the walls, let's adjust our wall height variable and the takeoff properties to 10 feet. Next, let's hide this layer and begin our ceiling paint takeoff. Similar to the previous takeoff type, click the takeoff name and single click on the drawing to begin your measurement. Now drag your mouse along the wall using a single mouse click to turn and a backspace if you make a mistake. And just like the wall coverage takeoff type, it's a simple process of tracing around the room and then double clicking the mouse to end your takeoff. Okay, now that we have our takeoff completed, let's move to the estimating step to adjust our quantities, labor and material cost, and produce a customer facing quote. Click the estimating tab, and this moves all your takeoff quantities to the estimating module. Here we can round up the quantities, adjust our material and labor costs per square foot, and see our total cost to do the work. Next, let's adjust our profit margin, add our overhead, lost time, and waste to account for those anticipated costs and any applicable sales taxes to get to our project sales price. Next, we'll add a couple inclusions and exclusions and a project note that lays out the payment terms. Now we're ready to export a customer facing quote that includes your company logo, contact details, and the quote broken out by unit, phase, or lump sum depending on your preference for the project.